This is video one of the three videos for the crystal top overlay process. In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do to prep your countertop before you do your coloration process. Now, as you're looking at this countertop, we're going to want to remove the mirror so that we can have full coverage of the backsplash. If for some reason you cannot remove the mirror, just tape up the very bottom of that and just go up to it as close as possible. As people look at it, it'll look like it's still all one piece. Next, you'll want to look at the sink. Do you want to remove the sink or do you want to keep the sink in place? Now, if you don't want to remove the sink, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to tape up all around where the sink and the counter, uh, countertop meet together and tape up completely around that so that you can do your uh, painting around that. What I would do is after you've got all your, your uh, painting process done, the coloration is done, then I would uh, take a razor blade and just uh, score around the bottom and then peel the tape off just to make sure that you've got all the paint where it needs to be painted right up to the edge. And then after you've completed your ceiling and everything, then go back and uh, take some caulking and go around the edge of the uh, sink so that you've got a nice seal and then everything blends together nicely. If you've removed the sink, take a razor blade and go around it and remove the caulking so it's nice and smooth. Make sure you don't dig into the Formica countertop. Now we can take the sanding pad and have our little terry cloth ready. I've got a little just a wet rag. I'm going to remove some of the dust and build up from the mirror being removed. You want to wipe everything down, the whole countertop down. Just use soap and water. Uh, don't put any type of chemicals over top of it because you don't want that to obstruct the uh, bonding process of the colors. So just soap and water to get everything off. And then we're going to sand. Just run your hands across everything, make sure everything feels nice. No raised edges from caulking or anything. Or any kind of grease build up. Just knock that off. Just want to wipe everything down. Now we're going to take the blue tape and we're just going to tape along the edge right at the base where we don't want any color on the wall. You want to always make sure that you press firmly, especially at the the base part of it so that you don't get any kind of bleed through or as little as possible. You still may have to do a little bit of touching up. I always overlap the tape so that when I pull it off it seems to come in one piece then. Don't feel real comfortable about this being enough space here. You might want to just take another layer over top of that so that it's protecting your wall just a little bit higher. And you can do that. You'll have plenty of tape to be able to do this process. Tape underneath here just a little bit. Now that you've got all the blue tape done around the walls, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the 48 inch uh, plastic film. We're going to put that uh, right underneath the countertop uh, to protect the cabinets and then we're going to pull it out so that it actually protects the flooring as well. We're going to take the pre-taped film and we're just going to go right underneath the countertop and tape that. This will protect the cabinet from any kind of spills. It'll protect the flooring once we pull this all the way out and I'll show you. 
and see how they just pull this down. It drops down by 48 inches, so this is great for either your bathroom sink or bathroom counter, which is a little bit smaller, but it also works great for your kitchen, which is the uh, height is a little bit higher, but it still covers all of your cabinet and it'll cover your flooring as well. And here you can see that it has completely covered your cabinets. See how you've got the taping right underneath it. If you've removed the sink, you want to cover the cutout so that you can prevent any type of dripping from the inside.